On to the sport now, and Dave's been to meet a highly rated welterweight boxer from Devon who's preparing for his first professional fight later this month. Well, this is the Knuckle Up Boxing Gym in Torquay, where Freddie Kewitt behind me is doing some shadow work in the ring. Now, he's preparing for his first professional bout as a boxer after a very successful amateur career. We'll be talking to him in a moment. But first, the rest of the sport and Exeter Chiefs begin their quest to win the Anglo Welsh Cup tomorrow. The holders' Harlequins provide the first hurdle to overcome at Sandy Park. There's more reason for the Chiefs to do well in the competition this year as their home stadium has been chosen to stage the final in March. To football now and three Devon teams aim to reach the second round of the FA Cup. Paul Tisdale's Exeter City plan to upset League One High Flies Peterborough at London Road. Plymouth Argyle boss John Sheridan has signed striker Tope Obadai on loan from Bury in time for their tie at conference club Lincoln City. And Torquay United's loan forward from West Ham, Paul McCallum, is eligible to play against Rochdale at Plainmore. Well, karting is seen as the breeding ground for the next generation of Formula One motor racing drivers, and the next one could come from Cornwall. A young man from Otterham Station near Camelford is following in the slipstream of Lewis Hamilton. But could he overtake him one day? Andy Burkett's been to find out. He may be a schoolboy, but Alex Quinn is making a big name for himself in motorsport. And at only 12 years old, he's ready to launch to the next level. He's ranked number two in the country and has already been snapped up for next season by the Taunton-based Coles Racing Team. But his performances this season have also attracted the attention of CRG, the Ferrari of the karting world. It is the World Series that would have the backing of, of a, a World Factory team. CRG lists people like Michael Schumacher who have been through their ranks years, years gone by. This track at St Evel is where it all began. And in the three years since, he's become a prolific winner. There's the championships and then there's um, the British Open Championship and the Grand Prix Championship, which is two one-off events and I was uh, lucky enough to win both of them. And the first winner of the Grand Prix Championship? A certain Lewis Hamilton. You only have to take a quick look in Alex's room to see that there's a lot more than luck involved. In fact, he's achieved all this against the odds. Despite receiving some sponsorship, some of his opponents employ a full-time team. Lucky for Alex, Dad doubles up as mechanic. Yeah, it is an expensive sport, without a doubt, and uh, we do need more help, yes. We're very much reliant on the bank of Mum and Dad. It's every little boy's dream to get to Formula One and karting is seen as a stepping stone uh, where they all began. So out in front, number seven, Alex Quinn has got a nice little gap there. Winter testing with his new team in the bigger Minimax kart begins tomorrow, just a week after winning his final cadet class race. As for CRG, Alex has already been over to Italy for a test drive and there's talk they want him back for a second interview in the near future. I well, always want to be an F1 but I, I realise that everyone else wants that in kart, from karting, but I just think anything like four wheels and an engine would do me. Well, Freddie's having a bit of a rest now, so he's dressed accordingly. Freddie, are you ready for your professional career after only four years as an amateur? I'm totally ready. I'm buzzing. I can't wait to get in the ring and get my first professional fight behind me. Just, just want to do it now, really, yeah. Do you think you've done enough in your amateur career? 11 wins from 13 fights to, to earn you know, a professional career? Well, um, I started boxing very late, when I was 18 really, but um, because of most of the fights wins, um, most of them were knockouts as well. So I think I'm, I'm ready for it. I think my professional, or my boxing style suits more the professional than the amateur as well. So yeah, I think I'm ready. What do you think your strengths are? Um, I think it's the speed. The speed, um, people always find it hard to catch me, so my defense as well, I say. And um, yes, mainly the speed, yeah. My goal is to, to be British champion in two years, so um, yeah, I start now and see how it goes in two years, really, yeah. 
Well, I've often said if you can't beat them, join them. So Freddie's coach, Gareth Hogg, is doing some toning exercises on me. Easy this, isn't it? Easy. Oh, great work. Loved every minute. Dave Gibbons there. That's all you can say, really, isn't it? <laughs>